Hey, heathens. Let's talk about contradictions. You know, in the Bible, there are a lot of contradictions and errors and everything else, too. Um, there was a particular group of contradictions that uh, are pretty blatant. And, uh, but I, I don't usually use them because too many times uh, the easy explanation is that it was a typist error. Well, that means, okay, we go from a contradiction to an error in the Bible. I don't see where that improves their point, but it's there. But um, just for those of you uh, that run into the people who say that you know, it can't possibly contain any error whatsoever, here you go. These are, these are the foolproof, absolutely no question about it, contradictions in the Bible. Uh, where the only way to um, to explain them is to admit that the Bible does have errors, and they are the numbers contradictions. Okay, for those of you who are going to be following along, grab your Bible, and the first thing I want you to do is I want you to take a look on the Bible and, and take a look and see what version you have. Okay, I have the King James Version. I like it the best. It has unicorns. Uh, if your version contains the word new in it, throw it in the trash, okay? New means we edited this bad boy, okay? When you go back to the um, older text that we have, these, all these things that I'm going to give you are going to be there. In your book, it's not. Ask yourself, why did they change it? Okay, we'll leave that at that. For the rest of you, you do have King James or, or one of the older... Uh, versions uh, you can follow along here. All right, we're going to start with, and these are all um, comparisons in in different books of the exact same events. Okay, our first one comes from Second Samuel chapter eight verse four, compared to First Chronicles eighteen verse four. You may want to go find the two verses and then come back as we go through. In 2 Samuel, it says that David took with him a thousand chariots, seven hundred horsemen, a, and twenty thousand footmen. Okay, and he hamstrung all the chariots, horses, but reserved for them a hundred chariots. In 1 Chronicles, he says instead that David took with him a thousand chariots, that matches, and seven thousand horsemen, not seven hundred. The rest all matches, and 20,000 footmen, David also hamstrung all the chariots horses, but reserved of all of them 100 chariots. Obvious contradiction, okay? Everything else matches, but that one line. 700 or 7,000, which is it? Because it can't be both. Number two, which day of the month did Nebuzaradan come to Jerusalem? In 2 Kings 25.8 verses Jeremiah 52.12. In Kings, it says, in the fifth month, on the seventh day of the month. Uh, but in Jeremiah, it says, in the fifth month, on the tenth day of the month. And again, everything else in the uh, verses match up. So which was it? Number three. How many valiant men drew the sword? In 2 Samuel 24, 9, we're comparing against the First Chronicles 21, verse 5. In Samuel's, it says that, And Joab uh, gave up the sum of the number of people unto the king, and there uh, were in Israel 800,000 valiant men. Okay? But in Chronicles, instead, he tells us that it was a million point one. Again, look them up yourself. Compare the two verses. It's there. Now, there are a few others similar to these types of contradictions, but let's just start right there. Um, again, pretty much cut and dry. Which one was it? There's no real way to offset the two. I've had people try before, but it doesn't fit. You can't say that, oh, well, he meant it in a factor of something. No, because all the other numbers in the rest of the verses all match up perfectly. They just screwed up the story. Two writers at two different times wrote the story and didn't get all their facts right. Simple as that. So there are errors. And again, I know the common response is, is that, oh, it, came, it was a, a, a copyist error in, in later translations. Oh, really? Well, then find me the original where it was done correctly. Don't have it. I'm going to say that the contradiction stands. 
But uh, anyway, like I said, it's not one that I normally like to use because it's uh, easily pawned off as a translation error. But uh, whatever. For those of you who, who said that the Bible can't contain an error, there's one that it does. So uh, don't take my word for it. Think for yourself.